Hi, I'm George. I'll be showing you how to put your own custom paintings into Minecraft Bedrock 1.18. Okay, switch over to the desktop and we'll get this set up. Okay, here we are on the desktop and the first thing you need is to have a place to build your resource pack. I made a folder here. I just called it Bedrock Packs and I put it on my C drive right there. It can be anything you want, any name you want. That's what I use. You'll also need to have your new paintings and I have two here. This portrait image here and this wolf picture. These are both images I did over in Photoshop Elements and I have videos about how to do that if you want to look for that. And then you may also want to have a custom pack icon PNG file. You can use the default one if you want to. I'll show you where to get that. But I like having my own pack icon. Okay, so we have our basic contents here. The next thing we need is to get a new vanilla resource pack. And let me show you where to download that. And this right here on Minecraft.net. Big long link up here, so I'll put this link in the description. Just click on that to get to this page. And then scroll down here where it says, how do I use add-ons? And then you want resource packs right there. Click on this and download this. Let's go ahead, we'll do that. And then save it into the same location as your other images. Choose save, and there we go. That's taken care of. Okay, let's go back and check that out. Here it is. I now want to open this up in a new window. So just right click and open a new window. There we go. Right now I'm in Windows 11, and I'll show you differences if it matters between Windows 11 and Windows 10 as we get to it. Now down here, first thing you want is this manifest JSON file. It's right here. Just right drag it over here and copy. There we go. And the next thing we need to do is to get an image, go into textures, and then go into painting, and you need this image right here. Let me just change the view on this to extra large icons. You can't see anything because it's inside of the zip file, but I'll right drag it over here and copy. And we can see it right there. Let's change this now to larger view as well. There you go, extra large. And it's this thing there. We're going to be changing this picture here and that picture there. Okay, that's all we need out of this zip file. But we do need to copy these two folders here. So I'm going to put this right like that. And let's go back in here. I'll put this down so I can see that. There we go. And let's change our view here back to just large icons. Easier to see. We need a new folder right here. And this one's going to be called Textures. And then inside of Textures, New Folder. And this one is Painting. Okay, notice that's Painting and not Paintings. It's singular. And inside of here is where our new Adjusted Painting is going to be going. Now to make that easy, we can just take this and drop it in there right away. Like that. And then we'll change that inside of here. Okay, that's all set. Let's now work on the Painting Image first and put these two into it. We'll then come back here and build the Resource Pack. And I'll be doing this in a program called paint.net. Let me bring up the download page for that and show you that. Here we go. And again, I'll put this link in the description. And the one you want is right down here where it says .pdn. This one is free. If you want to go through the Microsoft Store, you can, but it's about six bucks on the Microsoft Store. Still real cheap, but it's free right down here. Okay, back to the desktop. There we go. And let's open up paint.net and bring in the images. There we go. Now, the easy way to get images in here is just to drag and drop. So I'll bring up that folder again right here. And let's drag these in one at a time. Choose Open. Back to our folder. Drag in our next one like that. And open. There we go. Back to the folder again. And then inside textures, painting. And that one right there. Drag that in. And open. Okay. Everything is now set. And let's zoom in a little bit. This is a real small picture. I want to have it larger so we can get better detail into our paintings. So let's resize this. Go up to Image. Come down to Resize. And see it's at 96 pixels per inch, that's fine. I want to make it four times larger. If you have maintain aspect ratio checked, you only have to change one of these two, and this is going to be 1024. Make sure resampling is set at nearest neighbor and choose OK. It's a lot bigger. Let's now go up here to view and come down to zoom to window, and it just fits in like that. Okay, so far so good. It's now a larger size. We can get more detail with our paintings. Next, we need to know the right size for the painting. So I'm going to zoom in on this picture right here. Get that pretty good size and we'll adjust our position and i'll grab this tool over here this is the rectangle select tool now you can keep in that little thin brown border if you want to kind of a wood look or you can go outside i'm going to go just outside of that and let's come down and select that clear out to the edge right there that's the size of that painting in this picture we now need to know how big this is and that's easy to do go up to edit and copy or use Control c and then file new and this automatically sets this at that same size. So here we go. There's our size. Width is at 256 and height is at 191. And it's a resolution of 96. Okay, we can cancel that and use the Control D keyboard shortcut to deselect that. 
Let's now put a painting into this spot. I'll take this one right here, and this is way, way, way too big. We need to bring the size of this image down. So I'll go over here to Image, come back to Resize. You can see here this is 1920 by 1280, and it's at a resolution of 300. I'll change the resolution first. We need this at 96. And then I'm going to change the height down to 191. Again, it's still that nearest neighbor up here. What you want to have is one of these numbers going to large and one fitting. We're going to be trimming our picture just a little bit so it fits properly. So on this one, the height is the right one to use. Choose OK. There we go. It's now pretty small. Now I'll use the Control A keyboard shortcut to select that whole thing. Go up to Edit and Copy. Back over here to our picture and then Edit, Paste into New Layer. And it comes in just like that little move tool right here. I can now put that right on top of that other picture. Now, as I said, it's a little bit too large. So I'm going to find a good spot where her picture, where her face is centered, just about like that. And I'm going to up just a little bit, and that looks pretty good. And then go back to this Rectangle Select tool. And I'm going to drag a rectangle over here, just over that left side. There you go. Hit the Delete key, and that just clips that off. And that's now resized properly to fit into the game. Okay, let's scroll down a little bit. This picture is the same size, so do the exact same thing. Go here to this image, and then Image Resize. Once again, let's change this to 96 resolution. Make sure it says Nearest Neighbor. I'll change the height here to 191. And the width is a bit wide, so that's fine. Choose OK. Resizes that. Control A to select that. Up to Edit, Copy. Back to our picture right here. Edit, Paste into New Layer. There it is. And let's move this into position, put it right on top of that painting, and down just a touch like that. And again, I'll center it. There we go. And the top one is a little off, bottom is a little off. I'm going to just adjust my size here just a touch. And then right there looks good. And again, grab that rectangle select, and we'll trim off that bit on the side, which is just there. Hit the delete key, and there we go. Okay, let's get this back to fit on our view. View, zoom to window. We've now replaced those two pictures. Let's now save this out. So go up to File, come down to Save. It'll already be in the right location because we moved that ahead of time. Leave the name. I'm going to save this twice. The first time I'll leave it as a paint.net file. Choose Save. In case I want to come back and change other paintings in the future, a lot of that work is already done for me. Now let's save it out to overwrite the original. And that's File, Save As. And simply change this down to a PNG. And it should sit around top of that one. We'll get a warning about that. Just say yes and OK. Flatten. And that's now done. And we're all finished with this part of the project. We can now close this and go back and build that resource pack. Let's close that out. And I'm not going to save that. We can close down that zip file. There we go. So here is the paint.net file. I guess I want to go back. This one has those layers in it. And here's the actual working file. This can stay in the same folder. That's fine. Bedrock will just ignore the PDN file. Okay, it's back up here to our Bedrock Packs. The next thing we need to do is to edit the manifest.json file. Now, I like to do these in a program called Notepad++. It's a free download. Let me bring up that page, and I'll show you that. And it's right here. And again, big long link. I'll put this in the description. And then just download and install that. Okay, let's get back out of here. And I'll bring this up. There we go. Now, there are two things that we need to fix. One is the description name. We'll do that first. I'll just select that, and I'll just call this one Custom Paintings. Now this is in three spots, so I'll just grab that, Control-C to copy that, and then come right down here, Control-V to paste, and I'll also put it right down here, Control-V and paste there. Okay, the next thing we have are these two UUID codes. One is right here, and one's down here. Now if you're just doing this on your own computer, and you're not going to be sharing this, you can just change the last number here to something else. What I've been doing is just to add on right now up to 19. So I'll add on 19 plus 22, and it gives me 41. And then right down here, I'll just add on 19 plus 19, gives me 38, and that's taken care of. Now, if you plan on sharing this, then you should get a whole new UUID code. And for that, I have one more website. Let me bring that up. And it's right here, the online UUID generator. Again, there is the link. And this is also in the description. Just take the first code here, click on Copy. Let's go back to our Notepad++. And it's already selected. And then Control-V to paste that in. Let's go back over there. We need to have two different codes. So go back over to the UUID generator. Here we go. Click right here where it says Refresh. Gives you a new code. Click Copy. And then back over to Notepad++. 
and we'll put that one right on top of here and control V to paste. Now make sure you don't lose the comma, you don't lose those quotation marks, only change just the actual number inside there. Okay, this is done. I'll choose save and we're fine. Close that out. Okay, we now can build our resource pack. Now I have a custom pack icon PNG. This is just a square image, 256 by 256, and it's a PNG. That's all that is. It can be anything that you want. If you don't want to use one here, you can just grab a default one out of the resource pack. It's in the same location as that manifest, but I think having your own is nice to do again. Really easy to make your own. Okay, let's grab the textures folder, and I'll grab the manifest JSON and that pack icon, and then in Windows 11, right click and come down to compress to zip file and there it is now if you're in windows 10 you go up to the share tab and then click on zip and again you have the same place right there okay let's change the name in here and i'll call this custom paintings there we go all set now i need to change this dot zip to a dot mc pack if you're not seeing the dot zip right there go up to view come down here to show and right here, make sure that Fondam extensions is checked. Now, if you're on Windows 10, go up to the View tab, and then over to the right-hand side, put a check next to Fondam extensions, and you can then see that .zip in there. All right, now, click into the name, and you should be able to change this. Just back up there and retype this to, say, MC Pack. Click outside. Get a warning box to say yes, and the icon should automatically change. Now, sometimes the icon doesn't change, so just go inside of a folder like this and then back outside again, and that icon will change for you. All right, now make sure that Minecraft is not running and then double click on this MC pack file. There we go, it's going to load in Minecraft for us and then import that new custom paintings. There we go, import started. That'll go pretty fast and successfully imported and that's great. Now at the moment I am playing this in Bedrock Beta, that's why my picture back here is all black and white and why it says beta down here and all stuff up there. So this works the same in regular Minecraft or in the beta version, doesn't matter, exact same steps. Okay, come down here to settings and then scroll down to global resources and my packs and you should see your new pack right here on top. Click on that and then click activate and then look in active and make sure you're seeing it up there. There it is, that's good. Okay. So now go back to settings, goes back to our main page here, and let's play this and make sure the pictures are showing up properly. Click on play beta. I have my going to this file right there. That And there we go. Actually switch places. I guess I did the pictures backwards. Let me show you how to put these in place. So I'll just change my view here. You know, back up a little bit and we'll get rid of that one and get rid of that one. And then right click. You may have to come down to find a good spot. There we go. Right click and it places that in me. Try over here, just one. That's a good spot. And then right click. If you get the same picture, just do it a couple of times until you get the one that you want. There we go. There's the two new paintings here inside of Minecraft Bedrock 118. If you like this video, hit that like button and I'll see you next time.